about this. Uh, Tyson Fury was talking to Talk Sport uh, yesterday, I believe. And he made these comments. So just yeah, tell me what you think of this. He said, um, I was quite disappointed in the Challenge Wilder brawl. I said it would be one of my easiest fights. Hopefully there's a couple of fighters out there that when I do go into camp and I do serious training, they will be worthy of the challenge. How did you kind of read into that? You know, there's always three sides to it, isn't there, you know, to, to what happened in there. I think that some will say Tyson's uh, adaptions affected Wilder's performance, didn't allow him to perform. Wilder people will say, for whatever reason, Wilder wasn't able to perform. And then there'll be people in the middle that say it was a bit of both, you know. Um, I think with what Tyson's saying now, I just think that, uh, I think Tyson feels that the challenge that he brought, it was going to be one of my easiest fights. I think that Tyson feels that what sort of happened in the first fight, the 12th round, you know, it sort of, for me, what sort of happened was in the, in the first round, Wilder hit Tyson with a shot and Tyson went straight back at him. It sort of very quickly become round 13 for Wilder. Um, and I think that, it, you know, that's probably where, where Tyson's getting at with that, where... Those are the words of Ben Davison as his take on... Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder rematch. Now, as you guys heard, recap, Ben Davison basically said when um, Deontay Wilder hit him with that right hand and Tyson Fury went back at him, it became round 13. That is an, a great explanation, okay? Because that's exactly what it felt like. It felt like those guys have been fighting 13, 14. It looks like it was a 15 round fight. Okay? Like they did in the whole, you know, like like they had no difference of fighting. The only difference was Tyson Fury, because a lot of people think, man, Tyson took the fight to Deontay Wilder. He took the fight to Deontay Wilder in the first fight to a degree. Two separate occasions when he had liberty to. Okay, and he only had liberty to do so in the ninth round and in the twelfth round. Why? Because there was something. It was something at stake. Okay, Tyson Fury's ideology, his mindset, the strategy of Ben Davison. Those guys followed a particular game plan. Outbox this guy. Make this unorthodox fighter puncher, right? Shamed. Okay. Give him a boxing lesson. Do an Oscar De La Hoya to a Trinidad. That's what they wanted to do. They didn't want to take risk. They didn't want to take. They, they didn't want to put themselves in a situation where he could get caught, right? Because that's what Wilder's looking for. Right hand, right? They didn't want that. Okay. But in the ninth round, what happened? Wilder caught uh, Tyson Fury. So what do you have to do? You have to prove that you want to win the round because the whole idea was to win run round at a time. Okay. And then the ninth, okay, the ninth round, boom, he goes down. So you automatically lose a point. So Tyson Fury had to fight harder in the ninth round. Okay. On top of the 12th round, he had to do the same thing to convince himself he's just not a guy using the ring running and boxing. Okay. This is not a Vladimir Klitschko Tyson Fury. Okay. This is a Tyson Fury Deontay one. Okay, so what have, what has to happen is he had to prove his dominance in rounds nine and rounds 12. But what he figured out in between the first fight and the second fight, I can beat this guy up. I can take the fight to this guy. Okay, now what Ben Davidson's alluded to, well, I mean, it was like he hadn't showed him anything that he didn't know. Of course, I agree with that. Okay. Because there's nothing that, that Wilder could possess that he's shown Tyson Fury that he hasn't shown him in the, in the first fight. 
There is nothing. He did not add anything. He did not adjust to anything. He did not implement anything. Okay? All he did was is be Wilder. That's all Wilder knows how to be. You know, so now the question is, can you teach an old dog new tricks? That's another video. Okay? Now, when we're looking at... Um, when we're looking at round 13... That was Tyson Fury going right at Deontay Wilder because he knew all he had was a right hand. He knew the left hook didn't really have anything. The right hand had all the power. This is when Bernard Hopkins found out about Trinidad's left hook people. Okay? When he found out that's pretty much the only dangerous thing that you have to worry about getting hit with. And when you take that away from a fighter, they don't really have anything. Especially when a fighter like Deontay Wilder that has no backup plan and no other really punch combination strategy. Okay, he has nothing in, on, on the inside. You know, he might whack you behind the head if you get too close like he did in the rematch, like he did in the Ortiz 1 fight, <laughs> right? In irony, he starts complaining that Dominique Brazil hit him in the back of the head, just saying, that side note. But he has nothing else to offer, okay? So with Ben Davison, he's absolutely right. But let me counterpunch this. Ben Davison, the only reason that Ben Davison wasn't there was because of pride, okay? Pride allowed him not to be there. He was not there on his own admission. Tyson Fury wanted him to be there. He didn't want to be there, okay? Because he didn't believe in the game plan. He didn't believe in the strategy. He thought, well, if it worked the first fight, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I said the same thing. I'm not mad at uh, Ben Davison, but when you're wrong, you're just wrong. You know what I mean? And my counterpunch to Ben Davidson, hey, you were wrong. I was wrong. If I'm Ben Davidson, hey, I was wrong. That game plan could work. See, everybody was so scared of Wilder's power to the point, and they respected Wilder's power. I did too, okay? I'm not bashing Ben Davidson. What I'm saying is Ben Davidson could have been there if he wanted to work along with another trainer, but he didn't want to do that because he didn't believe in the game plan, bottom line. But on everything else, he's absolutely right. That was like starting round 13 from the first fight, okay? And Tyson Fury took over from there, and Deontay Wilder didn't, you know, have anything to offer. Now, did he perform? No, Wilder didn't perform. But honestly, let, let's be fair. Did uh, have Has Deontay Wilder, did, did Deontay Wilder perform in the Luis Ortiz rematch? What did he do? That was spectacular from all the other fights. Nothing. What did he do in the Dominique Brazil fight? See, smoking mirrors, people. See, things look one way, and they're actually one. They're actually another. See, we look at the end result, but we, we, we it's not about the destination. It's about the journey, right? So what happened in the journey of these two fights, his last two victories? Okay? The rematch with Ortiz... And Dominic Brazil. Dominic Brazil happened too fast. It was over too quick. Right? So Dominic Brazil was too slow. And he got caught with a right hand he didn't see because he's so he's a slow fighter. You know? Uh Wilder had the uh, uh he, he had the advantage and edge, but he knocked him out though. What happened in the rematch of Luis Ortiz? Right? He showed us that he could get out outboxed by an older guy in his 40s. Early 40s, to be fair. But outboxed for seven rounds. Did he show you anything new? Did he? Did Wilder show you back to the basics? Did he show you anything that he's growing as a fighter? Did he show you anything different? No. So it's not like we you people are expecting Wilder to. Uh, uh, perform like this guy that do things that we've never seen him do. The only thing we've seen Wilder do was knock people out, whack people behind the head, and swing wild when he gets someone hurt when he does catch you with that right. We see the windmill. You know what I mean? And that's what he does. He gives you the windmill combinations. You know, <laughs> he gives you that. Now, we didn't see that to be fair, but that only happens when he has you hurt. Other than that, jab, right hand, 
jab, jab, right hand. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's classic Deontay Wilder's combinations right there. It ain't, it ain't going to get no more than that. And I was surprised, in the, to be fair, I was surprised in the 12th round when he did catch him with a right, followed with a left hook. I was impressed because I don't, you don't see that with Wilder all the time. That's not a typical combination. But I know he's glad that he made that combination or really we wouldn't have seen a rematch, honestly, because Tyson Fury would have won off points. All right? But anyway, uh, you guys tell me what you think about Ben Davison's comments on the rematch, finally. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.